Hey Patel, welcome back to Django tutorial. In this video, I am going to talk about abstract model, which is a concept of model inheritance. In last video, also we talked about one concept of model inheritance that is proxy model. So what was proxy model? Let me uh, describe just in a very uh, brief. Employee, we created one model in which we inherited user model. And we also mentioned that proxy is equal to true. That means we cannot add more fields into this model. But what we can do here, we can add functionalities like you can create methods for that model. And also you can create your own custom manager like employee managers. So employee manager is like uh, you have just overrided that objects. So when you call user dot objects, that will be different. But you if you call this employee dot objects, then and dot all that means this get query set method will be called and what it does it just filter out the employee designation users so that means whenever you use this employee model you will not get any other users which has other than employee designation okay so that was proxy model in this video i am going to talk about abstract model so let's talk it out uh, so what is abstract model so this is for separating fields, separating uh, some functionalities, separating some meta information into one model and just th and then use that abstract model to other models. So you can inherit those properties, fields, everything in that sub models. So let's say for example, this is question model, choice model and answer model. All three models has common properties that is created at and updated at right these two fields so basically what we why we add those fields it always used for tracking the objects of that model when that object is created when that object was modified so those information we need in future or maybe let's say for example uh, we want to see why and uh, when it was last modified so that modified date will or maybe uh, this in this case we have updated at which will give you the information when it was modified last okay so these two are uh, available in all three models instead of putting in this separate we can use abstract model and we can create like this similar to this model we just need to add one property in a meta class that is abstract okay so let's create one uh, abstract class here and i will say object tracking why because we are using those two fields for tracking the object here again we have to override model start model okay and just add those two fields here okay and use class meta and here you just need to write abstract is equal to true okay and what we can do extra in this you can also create your custom manager here maybe i will explain about uh, custom managers in next video okay so that is one thing you can also add you can also add here some properties which will be available to all subclasses of this object tracking okay so this is two fields i have added here and this question model i am changing this model stored model to object tracking and i am removing these two fields from here okay all right now what i will show you let me run make migration command what will happen should it create any new migration file no why because when it try to change a uh, check in question model what are the fields are changed it will uh, it is using inheritance right but it is not change uh, it has not changed any fields same thing these two fields also will be available in question model and there is no field is removed other than that so it will say no changes detected right but if i add this object tracking class to this tag model okay and then if i do make migrations it will create one migration file having two fields added 
you are trying to add the field created at which auto now add true to tag without a default so for now i will add default times on dot now and it will add okay so it will create one migration file this is here as you can see uh, tag model name these two fields are added right and now if i migrate this it will apply those changes to database right now this tag uh, tag table in database having these two fields created at and updated at okay and one more thing just you just maybe observe or not this object tracking model is not created there is no migration file for object tracking uh, like as a new table right why because we have mentioned here abstract true whenever you put abstract true it will automatically detect that this model is not for creating table it is for inherit the model into the sub model okay now you can also here uh, add other meta fields which will be uh, inherited to the subclasses and then it will be used as like this uh, let's say for example you want to use here ordering inside that you can pass the list or a tuple but tuple will be based and uh, you just need to write created add so last created add last created object will become first okay so this is for ordering so now if you don't pass any ordering field in uh, let's say for example this is tag model in that case we haven't used meta class and we haven't passed any ordering system so it will take default this one from the object tracking but if i want to override if i want to nullify that then you can just uh, create like this class meta and just pass like this ordering null okay or maybe like this so that's that is very simple to use this and maybe you can if you want to create another abstract model from this abstract model then you can inherit this and let's say for example tag is abstract model for you you can write like this uh, tag base something like that okay and you can just again call it here prox uh, sorry not proxy but it's a abstract is equal to true so whenever you want to create any abstract model even inherited by uh, even inheriting another abstract model you have to explicitly mention that abstract is equal to true and what django does here let again this meta properties are always automatically inherited from the parent class but this abstract true will not be inherited automatically that will be changed to false when we uh, when we uh, use this model as a uh, in a migration file so when i run this make migration command it will check that this object tracking it has abstract true that means it's a abstract model so it will not create uh, any migration file for that but when you see tag model it will again check for the abstract parameter in meta class if it is not mentioned or if it is mentioned as a false then it will create the model for that it will create the migration file for that and if it is again it's mentioned as a true then it will not create migration file for that as well because that is abstract model so that's it uh, and it's very simple uh, this will be very useful if you have a very large application and you have some fields common in the most of the models then you can separate out in the one model and then you can use it okay and one more uh, uh, one more thing i will explain in the next video maybe next or second next uh, like how to let's say for example you have big application and in, in that case you have many models like 10 15 models then you are unable to manage them then you can do something uh, manageable that will i explain in the next video so thanks for watching this video if you have liked this video if you have learned something new from this video please hit the like button hit the bell button to get notification first and please subscribe and share this channel with your friend to learn and share the knowledge thanks for watching and see you soon in the next video